Tokyo is a city unlike any other in the world. Tokyo is clean, orderly, and, for a big city, relatively quiet. People of Tokyo are helpful and polite. They won't stare at you while you eat a messy pastry on the train, burp in public, or talk loudly on your cell phone while riding the bus. They'll politely look the other way after you accidentally smack them with your ski bag. They will ignore your loud conversations about sushi and ramen with your bored looking companions. They won't even roll their eyes as they watch you brashly fumble through the streets of the most populated city in the world. But not everyone visits Japan for the karaoke and neon lights of Tokyo. You see, Japan has a poorly kept secret. Japan has some of the best skiing in the world, and for centuries only locals have enjoyed the quiet, unmolested winter wonderland of Hokkaido. But now, people like mediocre amateur and other attention-seeking internet hustlers are crowding this winter paradise, a winter paradise that receives an annual 21 meters of Siberian cold smoke. During the winter months, many foreigners, like mediocre amateur, descend upon the island of Hokkaido. Backcountry skiers come to Hokkaido to greedily gobble up the deep, endless snow that falls between the trees in the spacious and ethereal forests of Niseko, Kiroro, and Mount Shirabetsu. They zigzag their way up majestic, white-capped mountains and leave their marks on volcanoes like Yote. I am. Look how dangerous this sport is. We are at the place where I guess all adventures begin in Japan, and that is 7 Eleven. It's not Maverick. Not Maverick. This is Japan's first stop for adventure. We are going up to ski Mount Yoti today. Yote. He's Yote. Yote, he's visited Japan a lot, so I'll take his uh, word on it. Yote, we're gonna go ski Yote. We've been here for three days, but it's been dumping snow nonstop. And this is the first supposedly clear day, according to the weatherman. Uh, but we're hoping to get a summit with some flirty clouds. Um, we've got my interpreter brother in the back. He speaks Japanese, um, but Japanese people don't want to speak Japanese to him. And then we've also got a stranger with us named John, and he's a new addition. So I don't know if this is a trial period or what, but we'll be seeing how he performs. We needed somebody to break trail. <laughs> and dig us out if things got nasty. So. We're here at 7-Eleven getting an egg salad sandwich, some pre-packaged pancakes, and then we'll drive up to the mountain and hopefully have a sunny summit. And just so you understand, Danny's definition of a good forecast is snow showers Slight in the snow. morning. Light snow. Show, snow showers show, in the show afternoon. Show the forecast. <laughs> That's not bad. Look, this, this forecast will detract others from going. And what they're going to miss out is a magical, mist-covered mountain peak. Just what you want. Our plan today is to climb and ski Mount Yote, a 6,227-foot volcano 20 minutes away from Niseko. We will be starting this adventure just outside of the town of Makari and ascending up the south slope of the volcano.
up 2,600 feet. Much of it on a skin track somebody else set. So we're enjoying the hard labors of others. This wind was forecast to be 10 miles an hour. And that's not what I'm hearing up high. Beautiful day. Well, compared to the previous three days. Yesterday, John and I skied uh, the lower section of this trail. It was beautiful. Every day we ski has been a winter wonderland. Snow falling, faces frozen, boogers running at a rapid rate from our nose into our mouth. And now we just want to get up to the top of this mountain and have a view. Because that's one thing we haven't had. A nice, good old fashioned viewpoint from which to scan this unfamiliar landscape. It's cold though, which is what I would expect from a place at the same latitude as Toronto. One of our biggest concerns today is slab avalanches. The day we got here, the winds were a blustery 80 miles an hour up high. So you can only imagine what kind of damage and danger exists up there. getting near the summit and I am very crusty as you can tell crinkly crusty frozen but the Sun is out which is nice of nature We are at the top, found this little wind shelter. Um, my dreams of skiing into a caldera have been smashed by reality. All the clouds have gathered inside the caldera for a powwow and it's nothing but sastrugi. So we're just going to rip the skins and ski down Yote, which surprisingly the snow should be pretty good. It's been hard to film. The wind just blasts the lens with ice so quickly. Now you can see it. A nice, we've got a nice glaze, uh, but it's surprisingly not that cold. The sun helps. Back of the car. Um, you can tell that it was challenging to film because nobody else really shot any video going up. Cool mountain. 
the only volcano where I've had decent snow from top to bottom. After hitting about 30 rocks at the top, it was nothing but powder. So I'll probably throw these skis in the trash since they've been stripped of all base and edge. That was a crusty day out. I had a lot of freezer burn going on on my coat and stuff. And now, down here at the lower altitudes, I'm turning into a swampy mess. Great volcano. Glad we got to ski it. Rather than just skiing trees and deep powder every day, 